All right, Maddox, we're going to work on character traits again. You'll remember that character traits are somebody's personality. We see them through their dialogue, how they speak, their actions, their thoughts, and their feelings. And it has to be something that happens a lot. So what we have here is a story about Victor and his crazy family. You're going to read that, and you're going to try and find character traits of every character. And you'll come down here. And I need the character name, the trait, and then the evidence here. So you'll see it's kind of all mixed together. So you have some of them that have the character name. So for instance, Dinah's here, or Diana is here. So you'll go through and you'll tell me what trait she is and her evidence here. So her trait, her evidence. <clears throat> and then that. You'll do that for each person. So what I would do first is go through and get the characters. So you're looking for the order of the characters. Go here. Um, so right here, you'd be looking for the bossy character. Right here, you'd be looking for the athletic character. Here, you're looking for, he gladly gave up his bed and slept on the floor for his cousin. So who did that would be the character. And then right here, he stomped off the field when his team was losing. And whoever did that, the character goes here. So that'll help you get the characters filled in. Then you'll fill out your traits and give me evidence to tell me why they are that trait. And when you're done, I want two to three sentences telling me which character are you from Victor's family are you most like? And tell me why. Give me evidence. So you're looking for the person that best resembles you, most like you. And you'll write that down here at the bottom. So remember, you're just looking for the character traits and the evidence is the important part. I would recommend as you're going through this, highlighting the um, characters to help you stay organized. So Jason, Enrique, Enrique, right? So as you go through there, Victor, so as you go through and the first time you read, I would just look for characters and underline them and that'll help you be able to find them easier when it comes time for this, okay? So if you have any questions, make sure you post them on Google Classroom and I can help out. Good job.